What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second of my uh, FIFA 14 gameplay and today or uh, on this particular video I actually have Milan against Manchester City which is a good matchup um, one that I enjoyed playing for sure Man City are so strong they always they have been in uh, this FIFA uh, sorry FIFA 13 and they seem to be very strong again Yaya Toure is just so good in this game because in this game I feel as though strength actually plays quite a, a large part in the game it definitely feels like it's a more important stat. I'm um, not the most important one, but it definitely feels as though it has a much bigger impact. I guess that's the best way to put it. So someone like Yaya Toure is going to be really good. You know, he's got good strength, and he's just a bit of an engine in the midfield, and he likes to just steam train through things. So um, I think he's going to be a really important midfielder, but... I just want to say, guys, a huge thank you for all the recent support um, on the FIFA 14 videos, on all my videos in general. It has been absolutely magnificent. And if you haven't seen my uh, other video, it was Barcelona versus uh, Bayern Munich. I'll try and leave an annotation link to that. But um, that that went down well, so again, a big thank you for all that. But as you can see, over-the-top through balls right now are just unreal. And I said it in the last video. I'm not going to talk too much about what I uh, spoke about in the last video, but over-the-top through ball and cross-field passes are just way too strong right now so I really hope that uh, they, they can sort that out and uh, yeah as you can see there's my hand just coming across the screen there um, just uh, you know I, that's not exactly where I planned to put the ball I went for a, a cross field pass but um, unfortunately that's not where I ended up putting it which is a bit disappointing but um yeah, let's talk a little bit about the individual teams. I quickly spoke about Manchester City. The likes of Aguero, he's going to be good again, if you guys remember what I just said about strength. You know, Aguero is another one of those players, uh, you know, he's, he's very good and uh, robust, I suppose is the correct word to use. Um, and he's just strong on the ball, so players like that are going to be good to use. Um, then we look at Milan. Now, of course, guys, the ratings are not final. I can't stress this enough. Um, on my last video, it's, it's clear people just simply didn't listen to what I said during the commentary, because the amount of tweets that were like, and Neymar is 83 rated, what the hell EA, you know, just listen to the commentary, the ratings are not final, and they even said they will be changing and uh, tweaking uh, all, all the ratings up until the final release day, so please um, don't get too worked about, uh, worked up about that sort of stuff, but uh, Milan, uh, solid, solid side. They got some really good players, some fun players to use. I can't wait to use um, El Shirawe. He's going to be um, a solid player. But as you can see, some nice football being played in this game. And uh, some nice finishes as well. One thing I found really strange about this particular game, or not even this game, well, I guess I suppose uh, FIFA 14, is that uh, so many of the goals actually were, when you shoot, they go in off the post. And I'm not entirely sure if that's a bug or something like that, but it was so often that when I would shoot, it would just hit the inside of the post and go in. And it was just way too frequent. I it, I don't know. It was just a little bit weird. Maybe it's just one of those things I just started to notice or something. But it, yeah, it was just all around pretty weird. Um, so yeah, that happened. And um, there are just some good players in Milan. They play like a fun team. They're a fun team to use more than anything. I enjoy using them more than Man City. But uh, I definitely think that uh, with the right formations, Man City are going to be very, very strong. Um, another thing uh, about formations is that I tried out 3-5-2 again because that was a very dominant formation throughout the entirety of FIFA 13. So I decided, hey, why not give it a go? Because, you know, I want to know I want to know what the best formation in FIFA 14 is. And I give it a go. And it is strong again. Um, it might be because I'm so very used to it but hopefully there will be a brand new formation that I end up getting obsessed with I haven't figured it out just yet but I to those of uh, to those uh, 352 FIFA 13 loyals I can confirm it is strong in this game again which is good to see um to any ultimate team players I do want to just quickly touch on uh, formations they have brought in uh, uh, I think it's nine new formations and I'm really excited to see what those are there's a bunch of 433 variables I think there's a couple of 41212 variables another 442 variables and it's just, you know, a nice bit of variety, and that's what matters, really. That's what we need in FIFA right now, um, especially throughout Ultimate Team, because we've seen the same stuff over and over. Single matches are back in Ultimate Team. I assume most of you chaps will know that, and that's something I'm excited to see and uh, learn, no, or not learn about, but, you know, crush the noobs in there. But uh, with single matches, it turns out you won't actually be able to um, see what your opponent's uh, uh, chemistry and rate uh, team rating is, and that's what you could do in FIFA 12, so I can 
can uh, some people are like well what's the point in single matches I do still see the point in it because in single matches you will still get matched against people who have your same level of team you know they will make sure that you if you're bronze you're gonna do your best to come up against a bronze side whereas at the moment in seasons on FIFA 13 it doesn't matter at all it is just you know you just get matched up with with whoever pretty much um, so that is good so if you have a silver team silver teams will kind of be back in trend a bit because you're gonna be going up against other silver teams you just have to hope EA do match make you correctly but that'll do it for this particular video we do uh, if any of you guys would like to check out some of my friends who have also uploaded FIFA 14 just click on uh, a few of those badges there and uh, it'll take you to their channel you can get a look at the latest FIFA 14 video but uh, this is the second half um the first half is on Nepenthes' channel um go ahead and watch that because uh, yeah it's the first half and why wouldn't you want to watch it so I'll catch you guys in a little bit bye bye